What's going on y'all, what it is? So let's go ahead and slide on this crazy story because it's going viral all over social media. So after 100 people were shot in Chicago over the July 4th weekend and 19 people unfortunately were deleted as a cause of that shooting, you have this girl by the name of Bethany Johnson that goes by Nene Brooks as well. And basically she's being blamed for the deletion of an up and coming rapper that goes by the name of Little Scroom. Now, Little Scroom's real name is Assyrian Hogan, and I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. And he was just 18 when he passed away. Now, this chick by the name of Nene Brooks, she's only 20. And again, she's being blamed for the passing or setting Assyrian up, aka Little Scroom, while he was getting his hair done. Now, there's so many rumors and stories circulating about this particular situation, but what I'm hearing is that Little Scroom was at this crib i don't know if it was nini's crib or nini's best friend crib but he was getting his hair done there and nini was there and she basically was acting jittery she was going back and forth to the bathroom texting somebody and it really made little scroom nervous to the point that he ended up calling his mother and he expressed to his mom that something was off he didn't feel like something was right he felt like something fishy was going on and honestly i wish that he would have trusted his gut feeling because something was wrong because nini was in the bathroom texting his ops and dropping his location and so the brother ended up getting put in the dirt and i say that respectfully because this chick was working behind the scenes to railroad him now according to certain reports people are saying that she reached out to a close friend because she needed 23 dollars to get an uber to go to the airport to catch a flight out of chicago now i'm thinking to myself you know you don't have 23 dollars you you didn't get paid for your services i mean you shouldn't have did it no way but why wouldn't you get paid for doing such an egregious crime at the end of the day so you did it for free how stupid is that it's stupid in the first place but the fact that you're going to do it for free makes it just more stupider and i know that's not a word but it's a word today now she needed $23 to take an Uber to catch a flight out of Chicago. So basically was the flight already reserved for her or did she just have enough money for the flight? I don't think so. Why would you want to wait an hour or two after booking a flight in person? Wouldn't you be afraid that somebody might find out where you are? Maybe somebody from the hood works at the airport and clocked you and said, hey, she's here. And you know, them Chicago kids, they crazy. They gonna come up in that airport and get you. So again, it just makes me think that this flight was already booked, but maybe she got lucky and just took the first flight out of there. And she was able to get on a plane and she went wherever it was going just to get out of Chicago. But anyway, what I want to do right here is play you guys a series of clips. It's very interesting. I suggest that you guys stick around and check out the contents of this crazy and wild story. I tell you this much, you ain't never going to get me to visit Chicago because shit like So here is the messy TikTok tea. This little girl right here named Nene Brooks, I guess her name Bethany Johnson. She set up a local rapper named Lil Scoom. Lil Scoom. She set him, she backdoored his. Whoever wanted Lil Scoom got Lil Scoom. But the problem is, Nene is a baby. She barely been on this. And when she trying to get the hell out of Dodge after she did what she did, <laughs> baby, she only had $23 to honey. You mean to tell me the people that had you set up Lil Scoom didn't have enough money for you to get the fuck out of Dodge? Because baby, they already making your obituary. They have made this girl obituary. Whoever little school people is, they looking for her. And if they don't find her, I guarantee you, they're going to find somebody close to her. Nene Brooks. I just want to know, sweetheart, what made you do some dumb shit like this? I mean, what man got in your ear and said, baby, it's cool. Just let me know when he get there. All we want to do is talk. Like, y'all, she really set up a hit. And... <laughs> Baby on the run now. Not only is the police looking for her, little school people looking for her. You already got a goddamn obituary made for you. They not playing no goddamn game. Chicago is not a real place. I know y'all talk about Atlanta not being a real place, but Chicago is not. A Who does this? Shit? This is some New Jack City boys in the hood. This is some shit right here. And baby, I am waiting to see what is actually going to happen because. I don't know. I don't. I pray they don't find her because we don't need another body. But baby, you did what you did, and you, I don't know. I don't know. Nene Brooks, Chicago, my mom. I feel like being an auntie today. I feel like being an elder today because it needs to be said. Somehow I fell on Nene Brooks TikTok, and it's all up and down the feeds on my other social media. Cliff Notes, young lady set up a boy to be sent to heaven. 
allegedly, but that's what it's looking like. He was going to her house to get his hair done, and then boom, he's gone. I saw the obituary mock-up somewhere else, so I thought the girl had already been taken, but she's not. She's very much alive, but people are making obituaries with her name on it, which pretty much is the countdown. The people who have met me find it hard to believe that I haven't always been this person. I was in the streets at one point too, but being in the streets as Gen X is different than being in the streets now. But I know a lot and I've seen a lot, which is one of the reasons why I chose to get my shit together and go to college and turn my life around because the road I was headed down, no. Ladies, please leave this fake internet stuff alone. And I understand the hood. I understand poverty. I understand the pressures. You guys have pressures now that we never thought to have. And some of y'all really believe that money will fix everything. It does not. Some of y'all believe being popular on the internet will cure everything. It will not. I don't know where such a huge population of young girls and young ladies have lost the need and the urge and the hunger to learn a trade, go to college, make your own money, do things the right way. I don't know where, I actually do know where y'all lost it with Instagram and the concept of your looks and your body making you wealthy and getting you a baller and you being able to live the princess life and all that nonsense. There's nothing safer and there's nothing better. There's no better feeling with or without a man than having your own. Getting it, making it, and having it legally so no one can come and take it from you. I teach high school. I know how these kids get down. I know how these boys get down. I know how these men get down. And to know what's around the corner for that girl gives me chills. But she did it to herself. Fathers, where are you? Fathers, where are you? Because the first thing some of y'all going to say is single mother, single mother. But a lot of them aren't single mothers. They're fatherless homes. Parents and no parents, fathers and no fathers. Ladies, it is up to you. You got to want more. You have to want more. She has a TikTok page. If you go to Nene Brooks TikTok page, if you search her, she'll pop up. And she has Chicago in her bio. And the comments on her last video that she posted, oh, and whatever happens to her, watch they do it on live. Watch. Because that's how deep this is. And that's how important it is to some of these people to have clicks and like. But I bet my last name, they film it and post it. If not, do it live in real time. Ladies, y'all got to do better. Y'all got to want better because this ain't it. At this point, don't nobody know what the f*** is going on. I was tagged in the videos about the situation. Videos I was tagged in, they said Nene was the hairstylist. Y'all saying Nene ain't the hairstylist. Her friend and her got the same kind of like name. That ain't the right person. Then they coming up in the comment section saying Nene going on up to glory. Y'all in the comments saying that's a lie. She is not going to glory. Everybody making videos saying Nene is the one who set the boy up to get took out. Y'all in the comments saying the boy mama made a video said that's not true. His mama said her friends did it. Somebody came in the comments and said they don't care what's going on because they'll set up their own sister for a dollar. At this point, all of us just need to shut the f*** up because nobody don't know what's going on. We just know that this young man tragically lost his life. But for all y'all that like to run down in people's comments and comment back to every single body in the comment section, acting like you just know what's going on and everybody else that's speaking on the situation don't know what be going on, go solve the fucking case then, Olivia Benson. Go tell the people that it matter, that it matter to the most. Since you know every thing, Penelope Garcia. I don't respect street justice because it's inconsistent. Currently got this young lady. Her name is Nene Brooks. And what she did was she set up this young man to be She was doing his hair and she let his opposition, his ops, know where he was. And they showed up and, you know, they put him in the dirt. So everybody's saying, girl, you got to get out of Chicago. They're going to you uh and i don't blame them da, da, da. people are saying don't come to my city they're gonna get you they're gonna get you these are all black people right oh they're gonna get you you shouldn't have did that she shouldn't have did that but what's funny to me is how many black people are just calling for this girl to be pretty much executed by street soldiers by street terrorists okay people that terrorize the black community in general including the young man that was part of this gang culture that she set up, right? Not saying that she shouldn't get justice, but where, well, I say it's inconsistent, where's the same energy for George Zimmerman? 
where's the same energy for the cops that get off acquitted for people indiscriminately on camera black people but when it's a gang with some gang shit, oh we quick to sit up there and say oh you're gonna get murked we're gonna get murked you can't come to our city you can't come to our city and guess what's gonna happen she's more than likely going to get hurt because the community is calling for it collectively for her to get murked not saying that she shouldn't face some type of repercussions but what about the people that are going to do the what about the people that actually the boy the gang members what about the people that y'all are calling to come and her our community is trash bro because of like this watch how many videos y'all come across after y'all see this nene brooks video of y'all seeing other black creators saying you know they're gonna get you they're gonna get you that's what you get da, 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 da. not even talking about why street justice is trash in the first place why we live in an environment where a group of men can come to a place another young man and get away with it and it's just always street justice not that these black people own anything in chicago not that they own any of the hoods that they claim not that they own any of the f anything not that we have any guy power in this world but did y'all just sit up there and say oh they're going to get you they're going to get you but let the cops of the dominant culture stomp all over us ain't nothing said on this app but crying and complaining hey gang usually i'm in my business but this situation bogus as hell so i'm gonna speak on it but the people that's done from chicago you just gotta keep up and you know see what the fuck i'm talking about and this is solely south side bitch and shorty i'm just looking at this shit. i'm from out west so on game <laughs> but a few days ago the chicago rapper named let's go he got killed shorty so basically he was at one of his little kid's house getting his hair done type shit. and the little kid had her friend nini at the crib i guess it was nothing it was a two-man type situation. I don't really know Shorty. But I know she was at her friend crib and Lil Scoon was ducking his head down by one the um the girl. So allegedly the girl Nene was at the friend crib and she was texting Lil Scoon ops, basically dropping his law or whatever. So the message is like that's how she type type shit on bro. She typed like that, so it ain't hard to believe that it's her, bro. So from what I read on Facebook, the friend said Nene was acting weird as hell the whole time she was at her crib, like they was trying to see what was to her. Kept going to the bathroom, getting her phone, sneaking on the phone type shit. Like, just being like, this this all from is what I got from reading the comments type shit. So, some messages got posted of her allegedly texting his ops or whatever, dropping low saying, yeah, he getting his head done, he leaving, so when he done type shit, basically giving, giving him a whole rundown on dude. So, now the whole Chicago on her ass, because like, oh, you back door as hell, gang. Why the f would you do that? And you not even cute enough to be doing those like that game, like what the f was to you? Like we don't under no backdoor sh bro. You already know Chicago, not even no backdoor city game. We don't even do that. So yeah, everybody on her and some other message got posted allegedly that she was texting them all about she feel like she finna die and the bitch needed twenty three dollars to get an Uber to the airport. Gang, you don't drop the low and you ain't get paid for it. What kind of sh is that? I'll see if they gave you some money, honey, but. You dropping lows for free? You're a dummy, bitch. Yeah, that's what's going on. But at least to say, stay a hey, female, stay out of the business, and just everybody, just stop doing back those all around. If it ain't got nothing to do with you, game man, your fucking bitch. I don't give a fuck what it was. So no much money, no money in the world should make you do no weird ass like that, especially at another fucking career game. Like, come on now, but be careful with these hoes, on bro. This is Nene Brooks. If you don't know who Nene Brooks is, you're going to find out real soon. Nene Brooks set up Chicago rapper Lil Scoon. Rapper Lil Scoon went to Nene Brooks to get his hair done. Nene Brooks backdoored this man, Texas Ops, telling him finna get his hair done and he leaving. This man leaves and then he gets unalive. The worst part about it, she did this for free. She was complaining about needing $23 for an Uber to make it to the airport that same night. To drop a man location, set him up to get unalive for free. He actually made it to her flight though. This is her right here, posting on her flight, new life. He thinks she finna just escape and start a new life. The whole city of Chicago on her right now they even made an obituary for her <laughs> cause the death thought it was cute to backdoor somebody but y'all can't feel bad for her she deserved everything she got coming for her pop is a dangerous drug nene brooks post going live at 10 <laughs> want it dead or alive brother's on your you worry about going live what y'all think